this is a poem I, I deeply love um, that um, I wrote many years ago and was and had published on um, Autumn Leaves by the late and very fine Sandra Ball, at both editor and poet. Um, it's a poem called Journey. It's essentially uh, the Odysseus uh, theme uh, and the Odyssey. Uh, but it, it's it, with, with uh, made personal by, um, by the poet, by myself, um, in that uh, there are elements of this poem that seem to be awfully autobiographical. Uh, I'm not just my poem, but the poem Odyssey itself. And I think that's true for all of us. So uh, for that reason, uh, when I wrote this poem, I tried to tap into the autobiographical parts that I thought were, um, were particularly relevant to this theme, and I think relevant to all of us. So let's hear the poem Journey. I do not know how it calls, but I bounce off what I'm doing and float on the words. The world has changed and gone away. The time that ticks so viciously means exactly the next moment, and all those things that mean there is nothing else. And yet, gratefully, it gathers in a gray ball of thread and does not unravel, hangs there more motionless than any illusion, and the word is the only motion I know moving, but carrying no twigs or branches, no leaves, no gum wrappers, and there are no markers that time can count. It was a special journey. Everything had become indistinct. The war was it won or lost. His home, his children, the houses, the cities with order and direction, roads to travel. These were thoughts that tumbled endlessly, a washing machine in orbit, weightlessly cleaning nothing, everything tumbling meaninglessly forever. Maybe this is Circe, for whom he had searched unknowingly, but there were so many of them, each with their own special enchantments, the magic of an oriental bazaar, the song of many temptresses locked on land, trapped in offering trivial dangers, wasted songs, tempting the shipwrecked already of departed souls, pirates confused by bureaucracy, seeking plunder from empty ships. This and nights in the heat and cold made dreamlike with passion and slow lilting music that stretches endlessly without ever growing there is so much of it, and it is if it, and it is it is as if he was happy, thinking nothing of deep thoughts, dark, swift, dangerous, not watching running aground on bars which you can't miss with neon lights like beacons, head for the lighthouse to save you with night on the rocks, actually looking for it to end, but finding you must do it over. This is the long of it, when time has gone away, and Odysseus lounges on the endless sand of an oceanless beach, drinking fragrant tea in bowls, and wondering if he will ever stop eternity grown to sing. 